What up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Scatter Report. Today, I've got two deck profiles for the new hit leader. One jank and one pretty good. So uh, let's get into it. All right, let's get into the first of the two deck lists. I think I'm going to start with the kind of janky version that I'm kind of excited about, but it's it's probably not the best deck, but I find the interactions pretty cool and just seems kind of fun. Great uh, deck for casuals. You're probably not going to do well at a big tournament if you take it, but... You know, I thought I'd share because I think it's pretty. Got some cool interactions. If you don't know what the new hit leader does, let's go over the effects. So he's a 10k on the front side. He's got an auto. When this card attacks a leader card, draw one card. And this card gets plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. All right, so this is really good. You're going to be able to get an extra 5k. So that means your leader is always putting pressure on their leader, even if they're awakened. And you're going to get a draw. So you don't really have to flip if you don't want to, which is great. Uh, but then on his backside, when you flip over, you're going to get to untap one, draw one at four life. And then this is where the fun begins. Uh, when this card attacks, draw one card. This card gets plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn, so just like the other side. And then choose up to one skillless battle card in your drop area with an energy cost of two or less and play it. Uh, so you're getting free battle cards, 20k beaters. And then there's an interesting interaction with one of the older vanilla cards and one of the older SRs we'll get into at the end of this. To top things off, he's got an activate main slash battle, so you can use it on both turns. Once per turn, choose one card in your hand and place it in your drop area. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with double strike, critical, or blocker and KO it. So what that's going to do is they're going to swing in with any of those dudes that have those keywords and you're going to be able to KO them. You can also, if you're going for game or something and they got a blocker on board you need, get, need to get rid of, you can just pop that easy and really just discard a card, get rid of any of their any of their cards you don't want. Double strikes, blockers, critical. So pretty good effect. Going into the first card, we got Broly Demonic Origins. It has energy exhaust. It's a red-green battle card. But if you have another red-green battle card in your energy area, it's going to ignore that energy exhaust and you can put it in standing up. So you want to be playing this on... Turn two, three, four, five, six, any of those ones to put down in your energy area. Just more red, green energy. Uh, you could play it for two and it's going to snatch a card out of their hand and place it in the drop area, but very rarely you're going to do that. Second card of the deck is what makes this deck, I think, a little unique and there's a lot of cool interactions with it. We're playing two copies of Frieza Army Healing Pod. You could bump this to three if you don't have some of the other cards, but I think two is fine. Uh, if you don't know what this card does, it's from, I believe, the Clash of Fate set. Auto once per turn when you play a green battle card from your drop area, draw one card. And you'll see there's a, quite a few ways to do that in this deck that's going to use and abuse this card. Uh, but it's got also got an activate main, two green, two any other color. Place this card in its owner's drop area. Choose up to one battle card with an energy cost of four or less and play it. So you could play a whole bunch of cards in this deck from the drop at any time for four energy. Not a great effect. You're mostly using this for the draw power on the place from drop. Next is the four super combos. We're playing the new Nappa Demolition Man super combo from set nine. It's got energy exhaust. It's red green. And if your leader card is red or green at the end of your battle in which you combo this card from your hand, play this card. So the interesting interaction here is when that card gets played, it's going to trigger Frieza Army Healing Pod because technically when this card goes from the combo area to being played, it makes a quick pit stop at the drop area first. So it's technically being played from the drop. So you're going to get to combo off this card potentially a rival if you want to that's really what you want to be doing in this deck and that's going to go into play you're going to get a draw and then you can combo it off again from the field to get another 10k super strong a lot of pressure uh, just getting that extra draw on your turn and their turn is pretty pretty ridiculous then we got four copies of newfound power sun gohan this is just the one drop crit 15k take a life oh self-awakening card of course you're going to play four of this you want it to be able to self-awaken uh then we're playing four copies of super saiyan sun goku it's just a 20k vanilla for two, this is the main card you're going to be triggering off that backside leader effect. This also, when played from drop from that leader effect, is going to trigger the healing pod. So that's going to draw you a card, which is awesome. Next card is Beerus Godly Majesty. So when this card is placed in your drop area from your hand by a battle card skill, if there is not a Beerus Godly Majesty in play in your battle area, you may play this card from your drop area. So this is another card that's going to trigger and draw you a card off of Frieza Army Healing Pod. So this next card, Bardock Awakening Instinct, is going to be the main target for discarding this Beerus Godly Majesty. So you overrun for four, 
draw two, discard one. Make sure to discard that Beerus, and he's going to go into play and hopefully draw you another card off the Frieza army. So a total of three cards drawn there. Pretty cool. Next card is Surprise Attack Frieza. We're going to play that at two. Don't want to clog too much, but there's a ton of cards in this deck that KO other cards, including the leader and you know, the next few battle cards. But you play this when one of their cards is KO'd, goes out for free, has critical, great card. Uh, next card is two copies of Vegeta the Cruel, Counterplay, if you have a multicolor energy in, car in your energy area, reduce this card by one. Uh, then it's going to pop a battle card and warp a card from their hand. So that's going to trigger, get that freeze out there. It's also going to hurt their hand and just be another body. Um, next card, we're getting into the arrival package. So we're going to play four copies of Champa and Beerus, Capricious Gods. It's a rival red-green for a red, and then when you bring it in, it's going to KO a battle card with 20,000 or less power and then give one of your other battle cards double strike. So you can give it to Vegeta the Cruel, Frieza, really any any of the other battle cards in this deck. The next card is four copies of SSB Gogeta, Resonant Explosion. This is the other arrival target, so another one cost red. It's got double strike, it's gonna pop a four cost or less, and you can only play one per turn, but that's pretty good. So if you'll notice in this deck, we're trying to play a lot of cards for free or one energy and keep our hand size big by drawing a ton. It's pretty cool. Uh, moving into the defensive package of this deck, I'm going to play two copies of Denial Hope because it's just ridiculously good. It stops a whole bunch of stuff in the game. It's going to get your guys out there and keep them from playing counterattacks and things and just, you know, stop some of their good threats. Then two copies of After Image Technique. This is just standard red. It's going to um, reduce their cards by 10 plus you by 40. The nice interaction with this is if you have, if you can neg their card by 10, say a 30K down to 20, and then you can pop it with that Beerus Champa. That's always good. Then we're playing three copies of SS Vegeta Exploiting Weakness, one of the most expensive cards from Draftbox 4, but it's just so good. You counter for three, um, it's going to give your leader plus five, and it's going to wipe their board or neg 20 across the board. It's just ridiculous, and if you're playing red, you kind of need it. It's just amazing. Uh, then we're playing four copies of Topo Righteous Aid, probably the best negate in the game. Uh, cost two. Got to discard a card. Does not trigger that green Beerus card, but that's okay. We don't need that. But then if they try to swing, they got to discard two cards the rest of that turn if they want to swing at all. So pretty solid. Uh, then we're playing the spiciest package in the world. Goes great with this leader. Two copies of the vanilla hit from set one. This is how you're going to seal the game. You're going to play this out with the leader effect. Then you're going to evolve on top of it for this next card for five energy, three red, two generic. And Lightning Fast Hit, the SR from set one. Really cool SPR if you're able to find them. Kind of hard to find these days, but not super expensive. Uh, but what this card does is when it when a card evolves into this card, inflict two damage to your opponent. So the strategy that I'd like to employ with this deck is you're going to go aggro as hell for the first like three or four turns using all that free play and arrival and extra combo power from the super combos looping itself. Then you're going to get him to two. You're just going to leave him at two until you can resolve these skills. So Lightning Fast Hit can steal you the game. If they don't have Frost Deadly Poison or Cold Blood Lust, it's, going, it's getting through for the most part. Uh, then the last card in the deck is just a single copy of SS3 Scramble, Raditz SCR. Um, it's just a rival for five, three red, two green. Uh, it's going to do one damage to you and then two damage from the, to them. So hopefully it's just another way to get that seal the deal, get them down to two, then kill them. I mean, the whole strategy of this deck is spamming the board, getting a bunch of draws off that Frieza Army Healing Pod, and just being aggro as hell is going wide. This deck is not the most competitive because all the battle cards are like 20k or less, and none of them have barrier, and they all kind of just melt to everything in the game that wipes big boards. But, you know, take it to locals, have a good time, has a lot of cool interactions, you get to play a lot of stuff for free and draw a lot of cards, so I think it's a fun deck. But uh, let's go look at the more competitive deck I have built for you guys. This version is a red-yellow. I think it's going to be a little more consistent than the other. It's going to have a lot more outs to uh, other cards and be able to speed the game up or slow the game down if it wants to. All right, so the first card in this version is four copies of Intensifying Power Trunks. It's just your standard uh, one cost, take a life, crit down for 15. You know, self-awakening, you want that in the deck. More crit pressure, really good. Uh, then we're going to play two copies of Denial of Hope, of course, again. Uh, just for that defense and to make sure your battle cards are making it into play. Then we're going to play two copies of the vanilla hit, just like we did in the other one, and also two copies of lightning fast hit to seal those games and really surprise your opponent, although it's not going to be very surprising. But if they're tapped out or something, you're going to catch them off guard and take them. Uh, then we're going to play four copies of, I think this is how you say it, Natad, Nate, Knotted, Village, Monster, the sickest vanilla in the game, the dinosaur with the big foot. Of course you're playing four of this dude. Why not? 
Uh, it's just a free play off that leader effect. Good combo power. Good even two cost for 20k is not terrible. Uh, then into the super combo package. Um, you could probably flex these choices, but this is where I'm starting with right now is two copies of supported text on Goten. This could be whatever, you know, at four life super combo you wanted to play. I just don't like the Goten one. And then two copies of Wii Celestial Moderator. This is cool. It's one of the new super combos. You're going to get to combo it, then it's going to nag a card by 10,000, which is going to trigger a couple cards in this deck. One, it's a great arrival fodder for when you want to bring in the big boys in this deck, the Beerus, No Holds Bard. And two, it's going to also trigger the SS3 Goku One-Hit Wonder, which is awesome. Then we're going to play four copies of Whis the Spectator. This is just the same thing as that Broly in the other version, which is going to be the, as they call it, check lands in Magic. So it ignores ener energy exhaust. That's good. Uh, then we're going to play three copies of Beerus Biding His Time. This is a cool card. When you have a red-yellow energy in your energy area, this is going to cost one energy and it's got crit instead of three so great pressure 15k crit on board they're gonna have to get rid of it if not it's putting a lot of pressure at the rest of the game the next card in the deck is ss3 goku one hit wonder you get to play one of these in the battle area at a time but you're gonna get to play it for free when you reduce the power of one of their battle cards so if you use ss vegeta later or the we celestial moderator to reduce their cards you're gonna get to play this for free that's awesome Next card in the deck is Topo Righteous Aid. Once again, I think this is the best negate in the game, especially for red. You better be playing this at four if you're playing any red deck. It's just too good. So Then the next card is really what makes this deck amazing is Beerus No Hold Bard. Of course, you're playing this in the red-yellow deck. Get that nice cheap arrival for your super combo, and you bring him in for one red, one yellow, and it's going to blow up a card, or it's going to lock it down. You can lock down their leader. Super good against the new Gohan leader if you can get this out early. Lock them down. Lock them out of those triple strikes. Then we go into three copies of SS Vegeta Exploiting Weaknesses. Of course, we're playing this again at three. You know, blow up the board, counterplay, get that extra boost. Just so good to keep you alive and keep keep the game in your your favor. Then we're going to play three copies of SS4 Sun Goku Heartfelt Plea. You're really going to trigger this off of a Beerus No Holds Bard on board. And, you know, when you awaken, you're going to play this for free. You're going to get Offering. They're either going to Crit Life or they're going to take, you're going to draw two, which is awesome. And it's a triple strike, so that's sweet. Then we got two copies of Lightning Fast Hit. Of course, interacts with that vanilla like we talked about before. Just going to seal you the game, and it's also 25k double strike. That's not bad. A little expensive for five, but why not? Then we got one copy of Baby Janemba Corrupt Coalescence. It's an ultimate. You can only play one in your deck. Activate main, two red, three yellow. Your opponent may choose three cards in their life and place it in the drop area. If they do, place this card from your hand in the drop area. Otherwise, play this card from your hand. Choose up to one of your opponent's leader cards, and it gets negative 30,000 power. So if you can play this at the right time of the game when you have a big board, or there at, say, four life, you can get them to one. Super strong. It also has offering, so if it hits the board, you're going to draw two. Great card. Then we got three copies of Flying Nimbus, of course, also one of the best negates in the game. Going to extend your turns, keep you going, keep you alive. Into three copies of Chomp of the Trickster. If you're not playing this card in a red-yellow deck, you're crazy. It's amazing. It's going to save you in those late, late turns. going to draw you a card. Just a great counterplay. Then the last card in the deck, we've got two copies of Dimension Support Trunks. Overrealm 3, cost 1. Grab a tw 2 cost vanilla from your deck. Play it with this card, and then it's going to have critical. Just more pressure, more vanilla. It's going to get you vanilla on the board. If they get rid of it, it's going to go to the drop, bring back the leader. Super awesome. Uh, hit, though, super flexible. I've, I actually have like two or three other versions of this in the back burner. One's like a mono red playing familial bonds with four star balls and stuff. Really cool. Um, than a you know mono green weird version but I th these two are the ones i've kind of gravitated towards and think they're pretty cool of course the red yellow i think is definitely more competitive we'll see how hit does going forward i think he's got quite some potential in him uh if you like this video make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and uh check out one of these other ones over this way right there yeah